Greetings, vinyl community. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, me seeing you and you seeing me, and uh, I haven't done a video in more than a few months. Uh, what I thought I would do is uh, start off 2022 uh, with a room tour video. Um, I usually do one of these every year, uh, except for this year. There's a lot of stuff different that we'll get to. Um, also, I've noticed if I don't do a video for a long time, I lose that um, that YouTube video voice you have to have for you know projections so everyone hears you. Um, so we'll see how quickly I can get that voice back for you all. Uh, so uh, without further ado, as they say, uh, let's get to this. We're going to have a look around the room, and then we're going to take you into my side room. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, then a lot of this will be familiar to you. Uh, if this is your first time seeing one of my room tours, this is, will be all new for you. So we're going to have a look starting right as I trip over a light. Right over here, we got some CDs and I got my Xer bike cycle thing that I ride. I try to ride every night while listening to music. Um, CDs, they're all by genre, same as my records. That's a byproduct of uh, working in music retail for over two decades is you tend to put things in genres uh, as you do in a store. So that's all kind of what this is. Uh, I was able to get rid of a lot of CDs uh, lately, but these are the ones I'm hanging on to. A lot of people always ask me to look at the box sets. So ready for your pause button. I'll, I'll try to take you through this here. We got some Dan Ramones. Boy. Blue Oyster Cult, I don't know what that's doing there. English Beat, Nirvana, Oasis. You know, you guys can see. And then over here, we got some, uh, this is all my metal stuff. Uh, metal box sets. And then these are uh, all my metal CDs. Most of them anyways. So that's kind of what this corner is, CDs. Uh, my extra cycle. Uh, what do we got over here? Let's have a look over. I'm going to do a little spinorama here. Look at that. Whoa. Uh, this is where I kind of keep all of my 80s and alternative 80s kind of stuff. It's uh, it's better for when I DJ, uh, when I pull stuff that's all in one area, uh, anything that I might play. But there's some box sets up here. Uh, some split ends, Madonna, Duran. Wax Tracks box set, or the black box, and Ministry. And then starting from here on down, these are all SACDs, uh, Blu-ray audio, uh, DVD audio, et cetera, et cetera, the audio file stuff. So there's all those there. And that's what that is over there. And then what we have here, we're going to back up here, some guitars. And then I found this at a thrift store a couple of weeks ago. Look at this. A Randall amp, one by twelve, but really nice amplifier. So that's a uh, uh, thrift store find. You'll never know what you find at thrift stores. So um, I'm trying not to say um too much, but you know I'm finding myself saying um. So I donate a dollar for every time I say um to um, myself. So we're gonna go through uh, vinyl box sets, more bi vinyl box sets, or more box sets. I'll try to do this without knowing where I'm going here. Uh, what's this one here? Oh, I can't this is that Miles Davis um, really expensive one-stop, one-step process thing that I'll never buy again. What is it? What is this one? Oh, the doors. What's the doors? Some Ramstein, some Miles Davis. You guys can see. Smiths, Triumph, Metallica. And then what we got here? Some T-Rex vinyl box set and autographed Metallica box sets. And then we got my Metallica. There you go. So over here, um, like I said, I do things by genre. Um, the top over there is mostly progressive rock, psych, experimental stuff, and then jazz as well. Um, this is where the metal starts over here and continues over here. And I think it goes into here as well. I cannot remember. Then we got some bobbleheads. And then we got Mr. Rotten over here. This box here, uh, if you've seen some of my videos over 2021 and 2020, uh, I talked a lot about 
making a box of my favorite singles of all time. And that's that box. And it's done. I'll have to reveal it one of these days, I guess. Uh, what's this? This is uh, my DJ singles I used to DJ with, but um, they're kind of useless right now because nobody's doing anything right now because of COVID. Uh, and by mentioning COVID, that will date this video pretty well. This is all my... Um, how should I describe it? Kind of like uh, gothy stuff, industrial stuff, you know, noisy stuff, I guess. You'll have everything from Bauhaus to Ministry to uh, The Cure, um, all that kind of stuff and everything in between. That's what that is there, the Smiths and, you know, stuff like that. That's what that is. Um, there's some stuff over here, some Shaun of the Dead stuff. Um this was a recent addition to my room um, after having it kind of displayed a different way and then packing them away and then wondering why I don't have these out anymore. This is my kind of my collection of Walkmans that, um, that work and that I like the most of uh, the Walkmans I do own. Uh, what do we, we even got a Neil Young Pono uh, in the brand new. Uh, let's see, MP3 players and a Sony Watchman in the box, another Walkman in the box, uh, different things, as you can see. My favorite two Walkmans that I actually use is this Panasonic one, which is probably one of the best ones I've ever heard, and this Sony one right here. Best Walkmans I've ever heard in my life, but there you go. And uh, let's see what else we got here. That isn't uh, my stereo equipment, which we'll get to. Um, this will be changing soon. This is all going to a different room. So this is the last time I'll be seeing this down here, but this is my TV, uh, LaserDisc player, DVD, Blu-ray. That's the first receiver I ever owned, ever, right there. And I'm still using it. It's uh, powering these two Riga 2s, um, the actual Riga company from the UK, their speakers. Um, don't know what else I can say about those, but they're Riga 2 uh, for anyone keeping score at home. Uh, so that's what that is. That's kind of all my uh, audio video stuff, that, but uh, that's going to be moving right away. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got to show you? I'm grabbing my coffee slyly, but not so slyly. Uh, this is uh, my kind of side music room, which is going to be really cool to show you all. Uh, if you've not seen it before. Usually I have a drape here that goes down. What else? Actually, no, I'll show you some of the other stuff later. Um, this is my music room. Like I said, some of you have seen it. Uh, if you're a new viewer, then you have not seen this. But there's a lot of stuff in here that even if you watch my channel, um, and thank you if you do, uh, that you've not seen before. So um, vinyl box sets. Like I said, I think I get more requests to see my vinyl box sets than anything else. Uh, the stuff that you can't really see on the spine here is, what is this? That's Oasis, Peter Gabriel, uh, Jack White. I think that's Queen. It is Queen. Uh, it's T-Rex, T-Rex. Um, that's a Beatles book. So it's not really a box set, but I keep it there. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, that's a, a Third Man Records, you know, that club thing. Uh, it's another Jack White. Uh, Depeche Mode, um, that's still sealed. I keep in plastic, uh, suede, Depeche Modes, Tears for Fears. What else do I got? You guys can see the rest of it. This is U2. And uh, then the Beastie Boys, if you can't see that, and Lush. Uh, some single box sets. There's another one right there. But let's have a wide view and we'll have a look and see what we else we got in here. So this is mainly uh, my rock, pop stuff. I hate to call it that because, you know, uh, everyone who's watching this video would have a different opinion of what should go in every genre, but this is the way I have it. Um, and I know where every record is, so it makes it quite easy for me. These are records that I haven't filed yet, which I should probably do one of these days. So this is all pop, rock, et cetera, et cetera, all down there. And down there, here as well. And here as well. Um, what else do I have here? 
These are all my seven inch singles that aren't in my DJ cases. Doom, 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 doom. Right there. Um, this is all my 12 inch singles. I have another three boxes full, but I decided to pull out the ones that I probably won't ever listen to again. And they're sitting in my laundry room right now, wondering where they're going to go to find a new home. Um, I've got to find a new home for them soon. These are all Depeche Mode, Duran Duran kind of stuff here. Uh, my reel to reel tapes, uh, that steam wh uh, whistle case. That's where I keep all my tools for fixing equipment. Uh, another guitar amp stuff I haven't filed. Uh, this is new that you have not seen before. This here, uh, I've added this recently is uh, cassettes on the wall. Easier to find stuff. I still like playing cassettes. I know a lot of people are wonder why you would play cassettes, but. I just do. And then this is all equipment that's extra. <laughs> that all works. I've just not uh, found a home for them yet. Uh, some of them need some tweaking, but most of it all is working stuff. I'll have a, I'll let you have a look at it all. Sony tape deck. That's an LXI power amp. Uh, old Sony noise reduction system. Uh, techniques. Uh, double cassette player, which is actually really cool. Uh, if I had it plugged in, it's all motorized. I could show you all. That's one of my favorite tape decks I don't use anymore. It's a TAC uh, component stereo. Uh, this is an Alpine tape deck. I hope you all can see this. Uh, what is this one? This is a Harman Kardon HK450. Um, this is my second favorite. Well, maybe one of my favorite cassette players I've ever had is a Sony uh, TCK72. Just a beautiful machine. Uh, techniques, uh, turntable, another turntable there. So that's all equipment that uh, is sitting on the bench right now that I'm going to have to get rid of one of these days. Oh, and we're not done. There's more. We have uh, an extra Sony mini disc player. We have a Roland TR505 original drum machine here. Uh, these are... DCC players, digital compact cassette players that I'm going to be sending off uh, soon to be repaired. Uh, these DCC players are, are well known for um, the capacitors leaking because they were all made with the same equipment by the same people. Different names like Techniques and Kenwood, but they were all made by the same people. And uh, all the capacitors they used were um, leaky and defective. So I have two digital compact cassette players I'm itching to get back uh, from repair. Uh, I see my DBX unit that I recently took out, uh, just to try without it. Another Harman Kardon uh, PM650 amplifier. Uh, another uh, DBX21 tape reduction system, noise reduction system. That's my Moran's SACD player, which uh, this is one of those things I do need to repair on. Uh, that's a project turntable. So that's all my extra equipment that I uh, hope you heard all that because I was quite a ways from the... Um, uh, microphone here, but that's all my extra equipment. How's that? Totally, totally pointless. Up here, we got all my, this is where I keep all what I would say, all of my extra uh, tape, well, what I would call, what anyone would call extra stuff. Um, cartridges. Different cartridges I've used, like I said, head cleaner, some eight tracks. Um, that's a, a Dire Straits digital compact cassette player for this or digital compact cassette not a player we got some extra tapes there. that's a whole box of blanks tons of high quality type 2 um and metal cassettes that i've not used uh, mini discs mini discs so any tape that anyone could ever want it's in here somewhere so that's my uh, storage of extra tapes. So I think what we're going to do now is if, if hopefully everyone has seen all of this sufficiently. That's my music room and all my spare equipment. We're going to take a cut and then we're going to have a look at my, my more or less brand new stereo system from when you've seen it last. So let's take a cut and I'll be right back. Okay, now on to the fun stuff, the stuff that you've probably came here for.
and the stuff that I want to show you. This is my stereo setup for 2022, which is radically different from uh, my last video I did a year ago. Uh, I would say about 90% of it's all new additions to my stereo setup. Uh, and don't quote me on that 90% because I'm not a math whiz. But trust me, it's almost all new since my last video. Uh, so we're going to work ourselves left to right. Uh, if you've seen one of my videos before or my room tour videos, you may have noticed that I used to use a vintage Moran's late 70s receiver and a Moran 6200 turntable for years, probably throughout all of my YouTube videos, all the years I've been making videos, that's what I've had. And my turntable, I loved. It was my favorite turntable. I kept it mint. I, I kept such good care of it. But being someone who likes to try different stuff, I decided that if one of these ever became available at a good price, that uh, I would have to go for it. And one of these became available at a really good price. So uh, I traded in my Moran's receiver and turntable, and I show you everything I got for it in a second. Well, I'm sorry. I'll show you everything I got for it in a second. Uh, but right now, what I'm using for a turntable, as if you didn't know by now, is a Techniques 1200 Mark II. Pretty much industry standard turntable for DJing. And uh, first time I'm using it for a home turntable. And I've always wanted one of these, so now I have one. Uh, right below that is a Yamaha MDX595, I believe, mini disc player, which I don't remember if I had this last time I did a room tour video. I might not have, I don't remember. I've had a lot of time playing, a lot of fun playing with that. This is a Mies P50 preamp. And then right below that, we have a brand new addition from my last time I had one of these videos is a realistic uh, TR802, I believe, uh, eight track player. And why would I want an eight track player in 2022? I don't know, why not? As uh, I wanted to have, uh, well, I tried really hard in 2021 to add one of every format I could into my stereo system. And as a result, I have way too many options now. So I spend most of my time deciding what to use. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, never write off higher end realistic vintage equipment because it wasn't made by Radio Shack. It was made by brand name companies like uh, by like. Uh, techniques and pioneer and and companies like that so that's what uh these high-end units were just a fantastic eight track player uh as far as eight track players go i know the format is probably the shittiest format of all time but it has dolby noise reduction which makes a huge difference uh it's just nice and i can't believe i talked about an eight track player that long um some vinyl cleaning stuff accessories over here working our way over here I added this as my receiver now. I wanted something brand new. I wanted something that would do Bluetooth. Um, and this just happened to be a super good value. If you look at the reviews of these on YouTube, they're kind of universally praised for what they are for the price point. This is an STRDH190 uh, receiver. And I wanted something that would play Bluetooth that would play my streaming service over. And this does. And the other selling point for me was that it's totally made for audio. It's got a phono, uh, dedicated phono input. It's got a preamp in it, uh, which I don't use. I, I use that preamp. But if I ever wanted to, it's got one in here too, um, which I bypass. And like I said, I use the, the preamp over here. But um, I, I just love this receiver. For the price point, you can't lose. Uh, the difference between this and my Moran's is kind of negligible uh, for my ears. Uh, and like I said, I can play my I can play Bluetooth over here, which I love. So I'm really happy with this choice of a receiver. Over here is the thing I'm most proud of adding to my stereo system. This is uh, something I've always wanted since I was a kid in my stereo system. This is a Pioneer RT707 reel to reel deck. And it took me a long time to clean it and get it working properly. But I want to thank Ty and Reg over at RCP who uh, helped me get this. Um, as you can see, guys, it's all fully working now. I was able to replace some parts, clean it up, 
and it's working as good as new now. And I couldn't be happier owning this reel to reel deck. I've had a lot of fun. Um, there's lots of real reel to reel tapes kicking around. I always find them on our online buy and sell sites. So, uh, I've added quite a few tapes I've, and I've recorded on them and they sound absolutely fantastic. So this is something of probably the, the proudest of adding to my stereo system. Cause I've always wanted one my whole life is this pioneer, uh, reel to reel tape deck. Uh, Oh yeah, and then another really good thing about this reel to reel is it does auto reverse or play. You don't have to to flip sides. You don't have to flip the tape over, which is one of the biggest drawbacks from reel to reel. Uh, once it gets to the end of, of one side, it just automatically plays on the other side. So it's kind of like an auto reverse. So absolutely fantastic. Uh, what we have here is an equalizer, which I have had for a long time. It's a Sansui RG7X. There you go. And then I have a Joytek switch box, which you maybe you can or cannot see. Uh, because the receiver only has so many inputs, this allows me to have seven more. The switch box right there. And below that is a Monster HTS 1600, uh, what, do you, what do you want to call it? Power block, I guess. Uh, everything plugs into there and it keeps it at a constant 120 volts. Uh, nice clean power protects it protects all my stuff against uh, you know storms and power outages and whatnot but that's why I have everything running through and that's what I'm using for a power source headphones not that exciting so we won't talk about that this is one of the other things that I'm most proud of adding to my my stereo setup is a Tascam uh, 122 mark 3 tape deck uh, the next two things you're going to see are come right out of a studio um, this one, these were made for, for studios, uh, not for uh, consumer use. So uh, as you can see, there's lots of options that somebody in a studio might use. But seeing that I'm just using it for playback, uh, a lot of these functions don't matter to me, but it's insanely good quality, studio quality tape deck, which is absolutely amazing. And below that is a Tascam DA20. So matching Tascam units. This is a DAT player, which came out of a local recording studio. And uh, when I saw this come up, called the guy, met him at a grocery store and uh, paid a few dollars for it. And I got this uh, studio quality DAT player, which I've used quite a bit as well. And I love what have we got down here is we have a Denon SA CD player or a CD player as well. Uh, why I have two tape decks in my system, I don't know, but it's this one is just so beautiful. It's an Akai, um, what is it now? It's an Akai G something or other. I got to get closer here. Uh, GXC730D tape deck. One of the best sounding tape decks I've ever owned next to this one up here. I'm going to have to take this one out as well and probably throw in something else like my one of my DCC players. I don't think I need two different tape decks, but that's what we have right now. Um, what else do we have here? We have, this was, for, I had this last time as well. Actually, you know what? Uh, just for the sake of uh, of clarity here, the Sansui I had last time, the Joytech I've had before, the Monster is a brand new edition. Um, obviously, these are brand new editions, everything here. And this is a Pioneer designed by Andrew Jones uh, sub, which I really love. What we have here is uh, UK made Tanoi, uh, I can't even pronounce the name of it, Iris, Iris, Twos. That's what I'm using for speakers and I absolutely love them. They're fantastic. So I got, uh, I'm working two channels, as you can see there, with a uh, sub and I'm absolutely loving the sound of it. And that's pretty much my view when I sit back and I watch my stereo system. I did add, as you can see here, I added some panels. Let's see if I can pan up here. I added some uh, panels just to take away some of the uh, dead space, some of the echo. And uh, it's taken away it's taken away a lot of the uh, echo out of the room, which I, I'm kind of happy about. So I did add that uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, but I think uh, I'm kind of out of things to say right now. So that is my stereo setup 
for 2022. Pretty much all brand new equipment. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know what? And the whole table itself is all brand new as well. So I had to get a bigger table to fit more units on. That's what I got going on. So I uh, absolutely love where I'm at for my stereo system right now. I don't, of course, I say this and come 2023, I'll have uh, all different stuff. But I think this was a byproduct of COVID with nothing to do. Um, it was just acquire different pieces for my stereo system, I guess. There was like not a lot to do. So you all know that. So this is why there's such a radical change in my stereo system is fucking COVID, I guess. But uh, I can't see moving forward in 2022 adding really anything else to my system. I'm quite happy where I am for everything. So that is it. That is Naz Nomad, or sorry, David Michael, a.k.a. Naz Nomad. You can, you can tell I haven't done a video in a long time. I forget, what did I used to sign off with? This has been David Michael, a.k.a. Naz Nomad, and this has been my room tour 2022. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Um, I don't know. Tell me off. Say something. Thanks to everyone who's watched this video. I'm going to try to get the motivation to make some vinyl videos. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of messages from people wondering why I'm not doing videos anymore. Long story. Long story. But... I'm going to try to find the ambition and the uh, fortitude to start making vinyl videos again. Cause I've, since my last video, I'll probably have acquired three, 400 records since then. So it's something I probably have to do one of these days just to get some of these records out the door, show you all and whatever. So anyways, peace. We'll see you next time, everyone. Take care.